Well, actually, we managed to increase the, um, the uh, women uh, representation in the parliament. So it went up with uh, 4%. So at least that was a positive sign. But, you know, women make up 52% of the population of Europe, but they are only represented to 30% um, as members of the European Parliament. That is too low. And, and even if it went up to 34%, this is still uh, uh, so bad. And you can see it, as I often say, you can see it in these uh, so-called family photos from the, the summit meetings. Um, and it's all black suits and, and ties. Um, sometimes, of course, you see Angela Merkel or Tarja Hallon and the Finnish president, but uh, it, it is really uh, something that I don't think will, will make women very uh, motivated or, or interested. Maybe angry, which could be a good thing if, if they mobilize that, that sort of anger to say, well, we really have to get into, into politics, we have to change this situation. It means also that the issues that women care for and the problems that women have, including um, uh, discrimination, pure discrimination when it comes to the big wage gap still existing, or violence against women, or uh, a number of other issues, uh, they are not addressed properly. So we cannot trust that, that sort of men, a majority of men, will put this on the agenda. So I think it is so important to change. And I was engaged in, in, in a debate called 5050democracy.eu, which uh, was a way to, to help to mobilize interest in, in uh, changing women's representation. Mm -hmm.